Greetings, Haxter and MEGR3171 students. I've got a uh, LED um, solar light setup that's normally got a motion sensor, but the motion sensor has been disabled. Uh, I connected a particle directly to the battery, essentially. Um, this is a really cheap solar setup, and the only... Uh, there actually is no charging circuitry. Uh, the solar panel is connected directly to the battery, uh, and there's a little blocking diode here. That's it. So, eh, this isn't the greatest of uh, circuits, but you know it's probably good enough. And I'm guessing there's protection circuitry in the the lithium battery. Uh, these lights are on Amazon for about ten dollars a piece and have a nearly perfect rating. So. Um, if it weren't the case, these things would be blowing up. Uh, so I think there is some protection circuitry in there, we'll certainly hope. Um, but we're going to mount this thing to the mailbox. You'll see it's called Got Mail uh, upside down there. And we've got D0 connected uh, to a magnetic switch right here. Uh, that's also tied back to 3.3 volts. And we're taking advantage of the low power mode on the particle where uh, it only draws about 3 or 4 milliamps in sleep mode. So we should get a reasonable amount of uh, sleep time. The battery is about 1200 milliamps full. Uh, not sure how much current the solar cell can output, but uh, we only need it for a few seconds a day. But all you have to do, uh, this will be mounted on the door. You'll get the magnet close to it. Uh, or the door will open, so to speak, and then you see that the uh, the particle wakes up. The blue LED indicates that it did get a trigger. It gets a connection, and uh, you'll see right there, we just got a notification on if this, then that, that you've got mail. And if you watch the particle, as soon as it's done transmitting the uh, notification and its radio signal strength, she goes back to sleep indefinitely until we get another another trigger. So, thank you very much and uh, enjoy.